Hello, my name is Olivia and I am the lead research midwife for a study called Rotate. So I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about why we're doing this research and what it involves. So during labour, babies tend to face towards the birthing person's spine. But if they're facing either sideways or looking upwards, it can make it more difficult for the birthing person to push the baby out in those final stages of labour. In medical terminology, we call this malposition, and when it's picked up in that final stage of labour, it may be necessary for a doctor to rotate the baby's head into a better position for a vaginal birth. What, there are two different methods of doing this. They can either use their hand, which we call manual rotation, or they can use an instrument such as forceps or von Tuss, um, and then we call that instrumental rotation. So from previous research, we know that both of these techniques can have some negative outcomes for birthing people and their babies. So the purpose of this research is to better understand which of these techniques improves the outcomes for birthing people and their babies. So birthing people who um, require this procedure and have given their consent um, to it during their labour will maybe approach to take part in this research. And if they give their consent to take part, what would happen is they would be randomised by a computer system to either manual or instrumental rotation. And then that's the technique that the doctor will use to rotate the baby's head. Um, with manual rotation, it may be still be necessary for an instrument to be used um, to help the baby be born after rotation. Um, but it is the rotational technique itself that we are looking at specifically in this research. So um, after the birth, um, we would want to collect important information about the birth itself and also um, the outcomes for the birthing person and the baby. So this includes um, important outcomes such as any tears to the perineum or the vagina, um, the need for a caesarean section if a vaginal birth hasn't been possible, any injuries to the baby, and any, um, Im importantly, the birth experience for the birthing person. Um, there's also longer term information that we would want to collect, and that would be around um, things such as incontinence and again, birth trauma. Um, so we recognise that this is a really difficult time to be approached for research. Um, during labour and in those final stages, um, but improving outcomes for birthing people and their babies lies at the heart of this research and that's why we are doing it. Thank you.